It works. It's a game, but it's the bare minimum of what I'd call one. You can beat it in under an hour. Hell, probably 20 minutes if you knew what you were doing. Done! Yeah. He's a fucking cookie, I know. So, Ninja Bread Man, not the best it could be. Similar sentiment I have towards organized crime. I definitely rather play it than Data Design's kart racing <gasps> efforts. Most of those are just incredibly boring. Ninja Bread Man's got that. And beats. Next in line of Data Design's Wii era platformers is this. Who is who? Is this? Oh, I love the first That was Ninja Bread Man's problem. Enough of it. Well, there are enough changes to data designs work here to classify these as different games. I mean, I may be playing data design games right now, but I'm being stupid. I mean, it's just a game of personality. These are the same damn things, evident by one of rock and roll adventures. Platformer was the third Myth Makers game, while the Monkey Ball cloning Kart Racer came before it. But hey, you know, leave it to Data Design to break conventions. For example, most people say you shouldn't eat piss. Hey, you drink it. Myth Makers is just like Ninja Bread Man, which is just like Ninja Bread 2, which is just like Rock and Roll Adventures. It's like Elvis with ears. And that's Data Design's lineup of 3D platformers for the PS2, PC, and Wii, which pales in comparison to all the damn racing games. Plus, there's nothing to say about these games. Monster Trucks Arena. <gasps> Have any of you ever played this game? God, no. This game involves my three biggest fears. Monsters, trucks, and the Monster Trucks Arena video game. My three biggest fears are men, bread, and losing my brother in a homicide. I know how you <gasps> I got a glue. The Monster Trucks games are just the same as the car racers, but with big-ass cars. <gasps> Rig Racer 2 <gasps> is the same as the Monster <gasps> Trucks games, but with trucks. <gasps> now, where's Rig Racer 1? <gasps> I don't know, maybe it's the same as Anubis the second in Spinaz Pig Racer the second. Goodyear Racing, Classic British Motor Racing, Urban Extreme Street Rage, and all the damn Kawasaki games. Uh, snowmobiles, quad bikes, jet ski. Yeah, Data Design got the license to make a jet ski game with the Kawasaki brand. The same license Nintendo got for their jet ski game, Wave Race 64. So in a weird way, Data Design created a spiritual successor to Wave Race 64. It's obvious why Data Design pumped out so many racing games. I mean, they're obviously fairly easy to iterate on. You can make a Monster Trucks game and a Truck Trucks game, swap the cars and environments, and for some reason, these two feel more distinct than Ninja Bread Man and Anubis 2. But outside of these examples, they did some more experimental racing games, like London Taxi, Rust Hour. This is a clone of the Crazy Taxi series, which is a bit less egregious than Billy the Wizard Rocket Broomstick Racing, which is a clone of, uh... Uh, little wizards. Oh my god! Moving on, Earache Extreme Metal Racing, based on the record label Earache. That's just great. Yeah, next up, Crash Easter Egg Hunt. Mini Desktop Racing. These are all horrible, okay? B Billy and Desktop have the worst feeling control. Oh, a Taxi is probably the most tolerable, and then Earache it's just badass! Much like misspelling kids while playing sports. It's the kids sports series! Here's basketball. And ice hockey. And international football. You know, in Europe on the PS2, this was called City Soccer Challenge. Soccer! In Europe! You're in Europe, why are you calling it the American term? You don't call crumpets cheese nips over there. The kids sports series is about as bland as it gets. But I will admit, for what they are, 
they do the job, unlike the Kids Sports series. This almost looks like it's from an entirely different franchise. Kids Sports <laughs> Crazy Mini Golf, featuring new U technology, allowing anybody to put... Whoa! Whoa! Wait, wait, what? Rex, what are you doing? Oh, I just decided to tinker. Tinker? Yeah, it's tank brought to the next level. A chicken man. It... It doesn't work. This game doesn't work. I have no idea how anybody can control this. Like, what, what the hell am I doing wrong? I'm not playing Crazy Mini Golf 2, obviously. And I'm still wrong. <laughs> they had a design put out Junior League Sports later on. It's pretty much an updated compilation of kids sports basketball, ice hockey, and soccer all on one disc. It'd be even nicer if they included more of their games here, like a Party Fix Farmyard game. It's just a bunch of hogs competing in the Olympics. It's on a farm. Oh, that's what the title meant. I have to admit, though, this was a later data design release. No PS4 PC version was launched fully for the game in 2009. And I mean, it's not good, but it's its own game. It's not reusing loads of assets like previous Wii efforts. This is an original data design release. But we even got one of those in years. Hey, stop there. How about Battle Rage and Robot Wars? This has no obvious data design attributes outside of the fact that it's only designed to control it. Game as a whole rips ass, but still, my personal goal is a PlayStation 2, an American Tale, Casper the Ghostly Trio, and Casper's Scare School. What do these all have in common? Yeah, they all Tale is a very sloppy, basic, simple minigame collection disguised as a level-based off the time I spent on the ice. <laughs> Casper and the Ghost of Trio and Casper Scare School are both cut from the same cloth, both incredibly basic and generic platformers. Uh, better than Ninja Breadman, uh, worse than Forced Extinction of Species. <laughs> there, all data design games testing. If we're quick, we can catch up to Santa. It's only 2 a.m. on April 16th. Oh, man, I had work a month ago. I can't believe we missed the deadline for Christmas Eve! We wasted four months playing this game! jobs, making all different types of games, just trying to see what sticks. And in the end, I ended up working for them. Saturating the market with constant garbage budget releases that were all clones of each other. It felt like they were saying, we give up, we know we're bad, let's not even try anymore. But while that may have worked for a couple years, it just 
this goes to show that 